Remote regions like this are prime examples of what people often describe as old India. Parts of the country off the grid, literally, from new India and its high-tech urban centers. Tamkuha in the Indian state of Bihar does not receive electricity from the country's main distribution network. It gets by on traditional farming and for decades as the sun went down, villagers turned to the dim light of kerosene lamps. But these days, thanks to an ambitious renewable energy project, life in Tamkuha no longer grinds to a halt around 6 p.m. By the glow of fluorescent bulbs, residents have been able to extend their hours of productivity late into the night. Previously, I worked as a tailor only during the day. Sewing was nearly impossible with a kerosene lamp. Now I can work at my shop until very late at night with this fluorescent light. The source of the new electricity is something Tamkuha has in abundance, rice. The startup company Husk Power Systems has designed a system fueled by the husk of rice plants, usually discarded after the rice grains are harvested. When heated, rice husks release flammable gas that can be used to power electric generators. A small plant like this one can light up several hundred households for more than six hours at a time. HPS Chief Operating Officer Ratnesh Yadav says the company's technology is a new spin on renewable energy. Solar baby. We started by looking at solar power and other options, but those seemed expensive. But people around here were dumping rice husks as waste. So we wondered if we could use it. That was three and a half years ago, and since then we have set up about 60 husk power plants in India. Husk power makes villages like Tamkuha less isolated by helping residents charge mobile phones. The electricity is also giving the village new access to commerce and services during the night hours. Shopkeepers can sell food and other needed items. The village doctor, Farooq Ansari, can continue to see patients. When I began my medical practice 27 years ago, I remember the problems I had running the clinic at night. With kerosene lamps, I had to close down everything by 7 or 7.30 in the evening. Now, with electric lights, I can serve people at my clinic until 11 at night. Young students say electricity has given them a new lease on learning. We used to study by kerosene lamp. It was very stressful and we could not study for long. Now we can study until midnight if we want. The Husk Power project is supported in part by the Indian government which has set a target of deriving 15% of the country's energy from renewable sources by 2020. But residents of Tamkuha are seeing a big change in their lives right now. Villagers say it's like a dream come true. They never dreamt that electricity would come to this area. Now they're coming to understand how electricity can change their lives. Previously, young people here could never think of doing anything beyond village-level farming. But now they are dreaming of becoming doctors, engineers and scientists. The arrival of electricity is raising their ambition. That is exactly the kind of talent New India will need as it ascends to superpower status on the world stage nurtured by one of the most abundant byproducts of old India's agriculture. Kurt Asian, BOA News, New Delhi.